Donald Trump, Dwight Eisenhower, Hank Schroeder, what do these names have in common? Yes, they are all notable German Americans. Today, we're diving into their stories and the broader role of German Americans in shaping American history. Welcome to Clausewitz Chronicles. Let's begin. To understand the extensive history of German immigration to the United States, we can look at five key waves, each marked by distinct motivations and notable individuals who shaped American society. In the late 17th century, the first substantial wave of German immigration brought settlers like Francis Daniel Pastorius, a founder of Germantown, Pennsylvania, to the state for religious freedom and economic opportunities. This was followed by further waves in the mid-18th century, when immigrants were motivated by economic hardship in the Germany. The 1840s to 1850s saw a significant influx after the German revolutions of 1848, bringing figures like Karl Schurz, who later became a U.S. Senator and Secretary of the Interior. German immigration continued into the late 19th century, with many moving to urban U.S. areas and diversifying into various industries, exemplified by Levi Strauss, the founder of the first company to manufacture blue jeans. The trend slowed in the early 20th century due to World War I and restrictive U.S. laws, but the post-World War II period saw a new wave of immigrants, including displaced persons and refugees like Werner von Braun, who played a key role in the U.S. space program. When we think of American ancestry, our minds typically turn to the British Isles and Ireland. While it's true that these regions have significantly shaped America's cultural and historical landscape, it's the German Americans who form the largest ethnic group in the country. They comprise 13.6% of the American population and absolute majority in some regions of US. German Americans are the majority in states such as Pennsylvania and Wisconsin, showcasing their extensive spread and integration across the nation. One state where their impact is deeply rooted is Pennsylvania. Here, German Americans have not only contributed to the state's development, but have also preserved a unique aspect of their heritage, their language. In Pennsylvania, a distinct German dialect often referred to as Pennsylvania Dutch echoes the linguistic traditions of Old Germany. This dialect serves as a living link to their ancestral past, a reminder of their enduring legacy in America. Beyond language, German Americans have given the United States some of its most prominent figures in various fields. From influential statesmen to distinguished military personnel, the contributions of German Americans have played an impressive role in shaping the nation. The significant influence of German Americans is evident in well-known figures like Dwight D. Eisenhower, Herbert Hoover, and Norman Schwarzkopf. As we told earlier, the story of German Americans begins in 17th century with their first recorded presence in Jamestown in 1608. Fleeing religious persecution and economic hardship, the first significant wave of German immigrants arrived in America in the late 17th century, primarily from the Rhineland, Bavaria and Württemberg. Invited by William Penn, these early settlers found a haven in Pennsylvania, known for its farmland and religious freedom. Influential figures among these settlers included John Peter Zenger, who established freedom of the press, and Johann Conrad Weiser, an interpreter and diplomat between colonial settlers and the Iroquois nation. Their contributions played a crucial role in the early development and shaping of American society, laying a foundation for the German-American community's involvement in the War of Independence. In 1775, the outbreak of the American Revolutionary War deeply impacted German-Americans too. During the Revolutionary War, German-Americans stood alongside their fellow colonists in the struggle for independence. Major General Friedrich Wilhelm von Steuben, a Prussian-born military officer, played a crucial role upon his arrival in America. Von Steuben's extensive military experience was fundamental in training and enhancing the discipline of the Continental Army through his methods and the Blue Book. German-American soldiers and militias were instrumental in key battles, showcasing their skills and bravery in critical moments of the war, 
with many receiving commendations and awards for their valour. Their contributions went beyond combat, with the German-American community providing significant economic support to the revolutionary cause. The war's end brought newfound respect for German-Americans, enhancing their standing in American society. A popular myth suggests that German was nearly chosen as the official language of the United States, a story that has piqued the curiosity of many. This legend, often tied to a story about a vote in Congress, is more folklore than historical fact, as there was never a serious proposal or vote to make German the official language. The myth stems from an incident in 1794, where a petition in Pennsylvania led to the mistaken belief that German was almost made the official language. In reality, German was a widely spoken language among early immigrants, and had a significant presence in several American communities. With the onset of World War I, German Americans found themselves in a difficult position as their new homeland confronted their ancestral home, Germany. This era saw a rise in anti-German sentiment, challenging their ability to maintain cultural identity amid growing prejudices. The German language, once widely spoken, now faced restrictions and German cultural institutions like the Germania Club in Chicago were scrutinized. Facing doubts about their loyalty, many German Americans were compelled to prove their allegiance to the United States. To blend in and avoid hostility, some changed their names like Schmidt to Smith and rebranded businesses with more Americanized names. Nevertheless, notable German Americans, such as General John J. Pershing, of German descent, demonstrated their patriotism by serving in the U.S. military. The post-World War I period marked significant changes for German Americans, reshaping their cultural identity and integration into American society. After the Nazi invasion of Europe and the United States' entry into World War II following the attack on Pearl Harbor, the German-American community faced a tumultuous period. Amidst fears of a possible German invasion, heightened scrutiny and suspicion fell upon German-Americans across the nation. The situation for some German-Americans was similar as of that of Japanese-Americans, with instances of internment and property seizures under the suspicion of disloyalty. Strict bans were imposed on German-language media and public expressions of German heritage isolating and silencing a once vibrant cultural presence. In the face of these adversities, German Americans served valiantly in the US military, with figures like General Dwight D. Eisenhower exemplifying their contributions to America's war effort. The war years also marked a significant influx of German scholars, including famous physicist Albert Einstein, whose refuge in the US led to great contributions in science and in the development of the atomic bomb under the Manhattan Project, thank you for the Wathsing. Please support our channel by liking and subscribing.